Hello teens! Welcome to Destined Nation. I'm Pastor Adel and this is Tuesday. So vigilant teens, let us all worship the Lord.
did you know that the Bible is the inerrant word of God? Inerrant means it is incapable of being wrong or simply perfect. Psalms 19 verse 7 says, The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. In this verse, we find the word perfect, which Colleen will tell you about. Yes, that word perfect is the Hebrew word tamim, which means without defect, blameless, perfect, faithful, unblemished, and whole. That would also mean that there is no mistake in the original writings. But why do we need to know that, Pastora? We need to know that because that will affect how we treat the Bible. So for example, in Matthew 6, 33, it says there, But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. That verse talks about our priority, that we should prioritize God over anything else. And so, if we know that the Bible is inerrant or no error, we know that we can trust what we are reading and we will simply obey the word and also we would just prioritize God trusting what he says he would do if we obey him. Wow! Thank you Lord that your word is inerrant. That's right! This is Pastora Preck and Colleen for the light bulb segment. Always remember that you are destined, destined for, for Christ. Christ. Good day destination! I am Pastor Mark and welcome to What's up, teens? So there has been a trending, really, really trending game right now, and it is called Among Us. So what is Among Us? Let's see. It is an online and local party game of teamwork and betrayal for 4 to 10 players in space. So you can play online or over local Wi-Fi with uh, your friends or random players as you attempt to prepare for your spaceship for a departure but beware one will be an imposter bent on killing everyone so how does the game goes so the crewmates how to do all the tasks or they need to find out who the imposter is and throw it out of the ship for the other team the imposter can use sabotage to cause chaos making for easier kills and better alibis so what are the good things about this game well teamwork communication and analyzing things so your deduction skills so what are the negative things about this game well it is highly addictive number two if you're the imposter you're training yourself to lie and deceive and there's something about this game that stirs up something inside you that wants you to become an imposter well something to think about and you know what there are a lot of people who are toxic so what is toxic behavior toxic behavior is a behavior that intentionally disturb other players convenience so it can be cyber bullying trash talking cheating acting nosy and many more Proverbs 10 19 when words are many sin is not absent but he who holds his tongue is wise so the more you talk the more you will cross the line and say the wrong things well, did you know that Among Us recently had an update that was specially made for us? So they made a Filipino server. Okay, wow, what an achievement you'd say. But it's not. It was founded based on the complaint of other countries. Well, you can say that being toxic or trash talking is part of the game. If you're playing with your friends, it can create strife among you. Another thing, if you're playing online, you do not know whom you are playing with. You could be playing with someone who has anxiety or an elementary child and your words can bring harm to those people. Ephesians 4.29 says, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. So guys, remember to examine everything carefully, especially the words that come out from your mouth. Remember that you are Christ's representers and hold fast to that which is good. This is What's Up Teens and you are destined for Christ. Hi teens, I'm Pastor Jadel and this is Compass. Today is Tuesday, so we are going to talk about making good decisions. Today, let's choose Jesus. So, 
in our world today where we can access a lot of information and a lot of things over the internet, we should be very careful that our thought life is always making a decision to follow things that are above and not earthly things. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. See to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world, and not according to Christ. In the New Living Translation, it says here, Don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies and with high-resounding nonsense that come from human thinking and from the spiritual powers of this world, rather than from Christ. So we must remember that the world's way of thinking is very much different as compared to how God thinks. Isaiah 55 verse 8 to 9, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 25, For the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. It is because the spiritual power that is ruling this world is that of the enemy. And so we are to be careful about empty philosophies, about deceit that is coming through our lives through social media, through the internet, through what we allow our eyes to see and our ears to hear. We must be very careful that we are not taken captive by any of these things because we know that there is an enemy in this world who's trying to deceive us to like what this world can offer. God's way of thinking is the best way to think. We are to be like Him. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16. For who can know the Lord's thoughts? Who knows enough to teach Him? But we understand these things, for we have the mind of Christ Jesus. Always choose to think like how God thinks. Choosing Jesus means choosing to think like Him, even if it means looking or sounding foolish to the rest of this world. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. But people who aren't spiritual can't receive these truths from God's Spirit. It all sounds foolish to them and they can't understand it. For only those who are spiritual can understand what the Spirit means. Hmm, sounds familiar. Are there times that people question you because you believe and study and read the Bible? Yeah. And they are trying to laugh at you because you're so rigid, because you're so spiritual, you're so biblical, you're so holy, trying to mock you into what you do. Well, in fact, it is the right thing to do. All because people who do not belong to Christ will not understand what Christ and what the Spirit is wanting to tell them. So instead of allowing the things of this world to take you captive or you following after their ways, take your thoughts captive to the obedience of Christ. Always choose obedience in Christ Jesus. Always choose Jesus. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5, We destroy arguments and every phony opinions raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. So always remember teens to guard your eyes, to guard your heart, and to guard the way you think. Always choose to think about heavenly things. Always choose Jesus and to obey His word. That is the right thoughts that should fill our minds every day. Choose Jesus and choose His ways. Now let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I come to you in Jesus' name and I lift the teens to you. Thank you, Lord God, that you will help us to guard the things that we put into our hearts, the things that we see, the things that we hear, and help us to always choose you and your word to influence our lives. Thank you, God, that we will not follow the things of this world, but God, we will always take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ Jesus. We thank you for it, Father, and I commit the teens to you. Help them to think well and to think about you all the time. We love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. 
Amen and Amen. Now, thank you again so much, teens, for being with us here at Best Teens Nation. We'll see you again tomorrow at 5 o'clock. God bless you.